Alexander the Great, one of the most influential people in history, who in the span of ten years conquered the Persian Empire and planned to do so much more. But on June 11, 323 BCE, Alexander would, after ten days of sickness, die, and his empire would be fractured by his generals. So that leads us to ask the question, what if Alexander lived at least to old age? What would happen? Well, we do have some knowledge on what he was planning on doing before his death. He was planning on invading Arabia, and this is what he would most likely do. The invasion would be difficult, as the desert and any tribal inhabitants of the region would most certainly be against him and his army. But after a few years, I believe he would have the peninsula under his control. However, that wouldn't be the only other invasion he was planning. His next invasion would be the city of Carthage and its, an and its empire. He would also invade Sicily along with coastal Liberia, with the plan being to invade these lands with a thousand ships. And during his invasion of Iberia, the construction of these ships would be underway. Once completed, the invasion would begin. Carthage would put up a good fight on the sea, but once the Macedonians started to land, they would fall, along with anyone else in the west who would face them. Italy would also likely be annexed to gain better control of the western territories. The land would be conquered quite easily, as the land would still be divided by many peoples and Rome didn't even control a third of the peninsula at this point in time. The land would fall within a year or two. With the rest secured, other, his other plans would be enacted. Building temples across Greece and the other lands he conquered would begin, as well as building a massive tomb for his father, meant to rival the greatest of the pyramids or so it has been said, was planned. He also would have moved his capital to Babylon, as he had planned before his death. But perhaps his biggest plan, possibly even bigger than the plan for his father's tomb, was his plan to settle entire populations of people in the east and vice versa. In an attempt to unite the peoples of Europe and Asia through intermarriage and bonds of kinship. Now, it is difficult to say what would be the result of such a plan, but it would most likely have dozens of cities be founded for many different people, primarily the Greeks and the Persians, most likely, being the ones who do the colonizing. This, I believe, would lead to tension across Alexander's empire. And I wouldn't be surprised if a few rebellions popped up here and there during Alexander's reign. It could be possible for Greece itself to rebel against Alexander, or at least some Greek city-states, mainly due to how foreign he would seem to become as time went on, primarily due to Alexander adopting more foreign customs than him staying away from Greece, than his new capital of Babylon, so he doesn't end up like his father. There would also be one more conquest, or at least an attempt at conquest by Alexander, and this final attempt at conquest would be the Murian Empire. Alexander would spend years preparing to invade the empire. He would probably be gathering countless men for such a task, and when he did invade, if it would be one of the biggest wars in history. Now, who would win such a war? is up to debate, but for the sake of the theory, we will say that Alexander wins, expanding his empire across northern India, and with the conquest of India, it would most likely be his final conquest, because I imagine that he would have to spend a large amount of resources trying to keep the territory under control, and he would be quite old at this point, possibly in his late 50s, and possibly early 60s. Now, let's skip over to the point of Alexander's eventual death. What would happen to his empire? 
well, even though there would be a bunch of revolts, it's doubtful that these revolts would lead to any major destruction in the Empire, and it would largely stay intact. Mainly because, at this point in time, Alexander would have an heir to his throne, and the Empire, at least for the first few years after his death, would continue. The effect of all these conquests would be massive, Ch for there would be no Roman Empire, there would be no Carthage, there would be no, oh, well, dynasties ruling over much of the eastern Mediterranean. There would be Alexander's empire. Even though I doubt it would continue on for several centuries, it would be the foundation for many empires after, much like Rome was in our timeline. Greek language, Greek culture, and the Greek people, mainly through colonization, would be spread across the world. And the longer the empire stays, which I would imagine would be a century or two at best, would prolong Greek culture and civilization across the world, altering countless peoples and civilizations for all times. But that's what I think. We will never truly know what exactly what would happen if Alexander conquered all these lands. But, if you want to leave what you think, leave it in the comments. So, please like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.